everyone, welcome to Melissa Recovers, where I do everything I have to, to recover the person who I was always meant to be. Um, people ask about that. What do, what do I mean by that? And if you're new to my channel, um, it really means, in, in the title, in the beginning part of my videos, it says I'm not finding myself, I'm recovering the person who I was always meant to be. Um, I think sometimes we get off track. We have like a charted course and then we kind of lose that somehow along the way and um, that's what my channel is all about is finding, recovering me. Um, I am almost 40 years old. I'm a mom of four daughters and I have given up and sacrificed a ton for my kids like most moms, but I've sacrificed my health and I didn't need to. After I had my twins, my body went to pot. Um, and I took care of my kid, twins. They have special needs. And it's just, um, it's about realizing, like on an airplane, when they give you the instructions on an airplane, please secure your own oxygen mask before assisting others. And that's what recovery, Melissa Recovers is about, is securing my oxygen mask before assisting others. So um, that's what my channel's about, if you're wondering. Um, this is Sunday, March 4th, and uh, I got kind of a crazy messy bun this morning. I haven't been feeling great. I stayed home from church because um, I have a cold, and I teach Sunday school, so it's really hard to like be on point and teach Sunday school when you're not feeling great, so I stayed home today and got a substitute. But I thought I would just take a few minutes and um, do a little video on my plan for the week. Um, I think in December I did a little bit on my planner and my meal plan. But I thought I would just take a few minutes and show you all what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you my plan for this week. Well darn! <laughs> I was just um, flipping my camera around and I totally broke my tripod. The little thing that holds my phone so I can talk. So, just a little hiccup. Um, this is my planner. It's made by In the Leafy Treetops and it's really awesome. I love it. It's got great little quotes and motivational things at the beginning of each month. There's a quote. Um, this is a great one for January. Knowing where you're going and how you expect to get there can bring Meaning, Purpose, and Accomplishment to Life by Russell M. Nelson. And um, over here I've got some year goals where I'm like, I kind of want to lose at least a pound or five pounds a, a month. So um, flipping through, we're already in March. Here's a place for me to write goals for um, spiritual goals right here. This is a goal with my spouse. This is like um, relatives, and this is my children, so sometimes I get good goals in there and sometimes I don't. This is just the overall month calendar. Oh my gosh, don't look at how messy my room is, you guys. Um, and this is, this week, I've got, I was going to walk to church so I could get exercise in, and then I've got all my water aerobic stuff. So this top line is me, um... And that's where I schedule in, like, you can see I've got water aerobics, Weight Watchers, water aerobics, um, and because Weight Watchers is kind of around the same time as, uh, water aerobics, I can't do water aerobics on Thursday morning, so I have to either do it at night or I'll go after I pick up my kindergartner from school and I'll just do some conditioning in the pool. There's also... Um, I kind of put what we're going to have for dinner down here as kind of like a, a reminder. This is my community stuff, my service, like city stuff. I've got a press conference, city council, um, and this middle line right here is family. So, um, oh, I'll add this in while I'm talking to you before I forget. So my young, my twins have activity day girls. activity days. It's kind of like Girl Scouts, but it's just our church that does it. And um, they do some cool things. My oldest has a cluster concert that night. So I'm going to flip to the menu part. 
where I keep my menu. Usually I have a paper clip holding the two. I just haven't moved it over yet. Um, so this is what I do for my menu. Let's see if it'll come in focus for you guys. So this is um, week one is right here. Week two, week three, week four, and then week one over here. I mark anything that I need to either pick up from the grocery store or things that I need to pull from the freezer. So um, as you can see, I've got freezer pull. I've got sweet and sour and then chicken soup. Those are things that I have prepped up in my freezer. So um, I showed you yesterday that we're having uh, my sausage breakfast skillet all week for breakfast. So it is a cup of potatoes and peppers and onions, um, two over easy eggs, and then a piece of turkey sausage. So the whole breakfast is six points. And then I kind of categorize my dinners, as you can see, um, by different things by different days. So Saturdays I usually have soup or chili or something I can throw in the crock pot because I work from home and it allows me to um, put stuff in there and not worry about my family getting something to eat. Today we're having beef roast when everybody gets home from church. It's fast Sunday so that means we don't eat um, breakfast or lunch and we donate the money from breakfast or lunch that we would have spent to the needy and the poor. So it's kind of a cool thing that we do once a month. Um, on Mondays, you'll see I've got egg salad, chicken salad, tuna salad, lunch meat. Those are um, because on Monday nights we go to the pool as a family and I want something, and I work, so I want something that's hearty that we can eat portably and um, egg salad is awesome. It'll have celery, purple red onions, um, and a little square of mustard and Greek yogurt. So it's entirely zero. I put it on Thin Witches or Sandwich Thins, depending upon what brand I get. And I usually buy a six-pack of hoagies for my family. And um, four of them are for my husband, my oldest daughter, and our twins. A half of one of them goes for our youngest daughter for tomorrow night. And a half goes for her lunch for Tuesday and then the sixth pack, six of the pack goes for my husband's lunch for Tuesday. So I have it so that I basically make eight servings of everything so that we have exactly the right number of leftovers because um, the twins and the older daughter eat at school. So Tuesday night is always kind of potato night. It used to be kind of Mexican night, but that's a little bit more involved. So I switched to baked potatoes in the Instant Pot and I've got bacon crumbles from Costco um, cheese, and they'll have Greek yogurt, so they'll just have loaded baked potatoes. And then Wednesday, I've been trying to do a salad, um, because that's my day-before-weigh-in meal. What do you guys do for your day-before-weigh-in? Um, I am going to do some cranberries or strawberries. We'll see what I end up putting together. I have craisins, and then I have fat-free feta, and I have spinach, and then I'll do like the poppy seed dressing. There's an OPA one that I have in the fridge. And there's a few others. It just becomes kind of like a strawberry field salad. And then Thursday morning I have a meeting for city council. Sorry, stealing a sip of water. I have a meeting for city council. And um, I won't eat that morning. It's an economic development kind of forum breakfast. But that night is sweet and sour chicken, and um, that's a meal that I have um, already built in the recipe builder in my Weight Watchers app, and I just pull it out. It's in a gallon size Ziploc bag, and I'll serve that over rice. But it has carrots, onions, peppers, and pineapple, and some rice wine vinegar. I'm trying to think of, and obviously just a ton of chicken. So it's really easy. Um, it's yummy. And then Friday night we always do pizza. And if you've watched my channel for a while, I usually get pizza crusts from the Dollar Tree. And their pizza sauce is relatively low in points. A fourth of a cup is one point and an eighth of a cup covers half a pizza. And usually what I do is I eat half a pizza on Friday nights. I save points for it. So we'll do ham and pineapple or Canadian bacon and pineapple. And I'll probably cut up some green pepper and throw that on there as well. 
And then Saturday will be the last of my sausage skillet, and I will do um, chicken noodle soup in the crock pot, which I already have made in my freezer. So um, that's pretty much my week. See, I'm out of focus. Sorry about that. And I can kind of see the month at a glance. Um, this next week right here, I'm going to be doing some muffins made with bananas, my banana chocolate chip, protein powder, protein Kodiak cakes muffins. They're really good. And I'm going to re-figure out the points because when I've made them in the past, they were two points per muffin, but they use Greek yogurt and eggs and all sorts of stuff in them. And they might even be just one point per muffin now. So anyway, that's my week. Um, let me turn you around real quick. Let's see. Let's see if this works. I'm sure I'm like really close. <laughs> and again, my tripod just broke, so you'll have to bear with me. But um, please tell me about how you do your menu plan, how you keep yourself organized and prepared for the week. I'd love to hear more about um, how you make Weight Watchers work for you. And um, another thing that I would love to hear is what you do when you're not feeling great. Like, how do you make sure that you stay on track? All right, everybody, I hope that you are having a beautiful Sunday and that you're spending time with family and that you're eating on track and you're taking care of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.